Hello everyone. So today we are just going to be having a little walk around and telling you the history and some of the ghost stories and folklore around Cleden and Cleden Mill. Hi Charlotte and thanks for sharing Nigel. So yeah, we are just going to be having a little walk around and telling the history. Unfortunately, there, there's a lot of people. Um, hello everyone. So yeah, there's a lot of people, so I'll be trying to keep them off camera as much as possible, but I will be telling the stories. And before we do have a walk over, this pathway, and it says on this sign here as well, but this pathway used to be a walkway for monks between priories. So it's called Bede's Way, but monks would have traveled between two monasteries. So in Anglo-Saxon times, there was the monasteries of St. Peter, and um, St Paul's and monks would have walked up and down this pathway so it's been made into a nice little pathway which is cool so a little bit of history on the Anglo-Saxons and the monks there but um, today we're just let's have a look at clean so here we are pump tower this is visible through a lot of clean it's like the pump tower so um and i will show you all of the names of things but it does look like it is now property it's all closed and it is property but it's the lodge the engine house the boiler house the smithy and clean and pumping station which is cool right with our admin dan today <laughs> hello everyone so yeah, we've arrived. Um, we were going to do a little bit of investigation, but as we get further up the field, it'll be quite obvious why we're not doing a bit of investigation. Um, so it will be in two parts. We'll have part one today, which will just be a little walk of the history. Uh, we'll not be live for too long today. Um, had planned to be, but unfortunately, <laughs> there are a lot of people and we're probably gonna pass a few people on this um, path as well. So do bear with us. Really nice views though. Um, and some horses. So along here and in Cleden, there's something known as the Cleden Critter. And I was having a little read up about it earlier. And I'll be honest with you, it's quite funny. Some of the sightings say that the critter actually looks a bit like Chewbacca. <laughs> but essentially, it's like a big cat sighting. So people, there's a story of a man who was um, just out from, I think he was walking his dog and he had stopped to have a wee in the bushes and out pops the big cat, the Cleden critter. Um, and chased him for about 20, 30 yards. Unfortunately, um, you know, you, you wouldn't want to be walking your dog and something like that jump out at you, but he has been seen, this, this clean critter, has actually been seen by quite a few people. So it could be the case that there is a, an actual big cat about. Trying to keep people off camera as much as possible, guys. There's a lot of people about. <laughs> Wait until we get up the top of the hill, I'll show you. <laughs> But um, yeah, so the uh, Cleden Critter. So we a lot of big cat sightings at night time, especially. Um, all of them say that it runs back up the hill. I would assume if there is a big cat around, it'll not be out tonight because of the amount of people. It's just not a chance. So we'll not be looking for that. I mean, we could be looking for that, but we'll not see it. Um... But there's a little ghost story linked to the mill at the top, and I'll tell you that when it's in sight. Should be able to see it in a second. The village of Cleden, that was bombed a lot in the war. So it was bombed a lot in the war because there was essentially a decoy um, for the bombers. So they had like little fires and it would distract the bombers to bomb that area instead. Um, unfortunately, because of the location of Cleden, it actually got a lot of bombs as well. So it's a nice looking building here. Part of the uh, Cleden pumping station, I think. 
which you can see again just up there. But yeah, so it was bombed a lot during the war, which is really unfortunate because of where it's located. So because it's located near that decoy, it was bombed a lot. There's also in Cleden um, an Ice Age lake. So I think they call it Cleden Pond, but the um, it dates back to the Ice Age times. It's now just a nice little lake, but that's quite interesting as well. Um, the mill that we're about to see I think there's a car coming. Yeah, there's a car coming. We'll just move to the side, guys. Oh, no, it's not coming. It's not. We're good. Yeah, so the Ice Age Lake dates back to Roman times. Dates back to the Roman times. That's cool. Yeah, so we're about to see <laughs> a lot of people. So it's a little bit noisy. We will come back and investigate properly another time. I'll probably not come on a Saturday night. But here's the mill, just at the top of the hill there. And what looks like a school leavers party. So there's a lot of kids about. If, um, if you live in Cleden, and your kids said that they were staying at their friends, they might all be on this hill. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. So I don't think we're going to be able to actually get to the mill. I'll get as close as I can for you. Um, we will come back another time and investigate it though, because there's a lot of stories. These hills all used to be separate about 260 million years ago. They all used to be like separate islands. But now they're all together, obviously, as you can see. Lots of people. <laughs> um, people are saying, uh, Davey's saying the same's going on amongst eating uh, school leaving parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like we've just chosen the wrong Saturday. I'll let Dan open the gate this time. I'm, as everybody knows, um, after Havenfield or Heavenfield. I am shocking at gates. Took me about five minutes to open it on the live stream. But yeah, loads of kids. The tale, the spooky tale. You want to hear the tale. So, the ghost of um, Cleden Mill is supposed to be a woman. I think she's called the Jilted Lady. But she's seen it late at night. With, by dog walkers, <laughs> me cameras trying to focus on the people. So apologies, I'm not. I'm. I'm not turning it there. It's just trying to manually focus on the people. <laughs> yeah, it is a lovely evening for a walk. It will just be a little walk around. I'll show you is it. Um, it's probably a really lovely evening for a school leavers party. <laughs> a few drinks by the mill. Proper trying to focus on the people. So yeah, the jilted lady is seen by dog walkers and she's supposed to be seen actually jumping off the top of the mill and falling and disappearing at the bottom. So that's really sad. The story goes that um, her lover was a married man and because her lover was married, he'd um, decided he didn't want to be with her anymore. So the man left her and she was so sad. And she committed suicide at this mill. Yeah, it's really trying to focus on them. I've never pro properly like had my camera out um, when there's people about, so I'm getting used to it, apologies for that. Yeah, well, get as close as we can, but probably not get too much closer than this. I don't know whether you can see. Um, you see just about below the mill, there's about 50,000 kids. 
um, I will get up, yeah. So yeah, there's a gathering of kids. I mean, at least they're having a nice time. But I'll not want to go any further towards them. But I wonder how many of them know that the, uh, the hill's haunted. We'll have some nice sunset views though. Lovely view there. So if nothing else, we've got a few stories. Hopefully uh, we've got no big cat sightings tonight and everyone will be safe. I wonder which, because it says that there were like the things come out of the bushes. I wonder where, like which bushes the, the thing, the Cleden critter. Eight foot tall? Yeah, and on the thing it said it was like eight foot tall. It's every chance that people are seeing like just a... A local drunk. A local drunk. Looks a bit like Chewbacca if your local drunk comes out chasing you. <laughs> So we will come back anyway and show you the mill because there, there's um, currently the 50,000. There's about loads of flies in front of the screen as well. But it's nice views. And I've got a few other things that I can tell you. I'm going to see if I can get like... Um, I d we can't get up to the mill, we can't. But I'll show you the view from like off the side of the cliff, the hill. It's not a cliff, is it? What do you all think about an investigation here another time? And Barbara says beautiful scenes, Kaylee and Dom. Great sound effects in the background as well. So how nice is that? Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, we'll come back and investigate. Um, I'm probably going to choose a weekday night to come back, just to avoid um, to avoid this. <laughs> yeah. So if you're missing your child and you're living Cleden, they're probably here not trying to dob anyone in but if they wore a leavers 2021 hoodie they're here <laughs> yeah it will be creepy when it's dark hey, the gimbal's having a proper wobble Do you know what? It's, it, what are the rules currently um, on how many people can meet outside? Is it still six? I'm not, sure. not that I begrudge them. I think everyone should be having a as safely as possible. I do believe people should be um, having a nice time. They're very pretty. And there you can see the water tower, the water pump and tower in the background there. So a lot of people see the woman, the jilted woman, um, late at night. It's always dog walkers, because this is an area where a lot of people walk their dogs. So it's the dog walkers that tend to see her, like literally falling from the top of the mill. I think there'd be somebody there to catch a fall tonight though because I doubt, I doubt they'll be leaving any time soon but it is really lovely and um, I'll tell you a bit about and I will show you further but we're in South Shields and on South Shields at this front 
Marsden Bay, you've got in the rocks um, Marsden Grotto. <laughs> Somebody, Michael says, looks quite idyllic without the hordes of prepubescent children. <laughs> um, yeah, so Marsden Grotto was. Um, built by somebody named with the name of Jack the Blaster and he got something similar to dynamite but it wasn't dynamite got something similar to it and blasted a hole in the rock in the cliff so if you go to Mars and Bay you can actually see um you can actually see Marsden Grotto now which is where it was um, blasted by Jack the Blaster and it does have ghosts. There's a lot of stories about uh, Marsden Grotto, um, a few of which were that there was actually somebody, supposedly pirates, um, killed and stored in um, what they called, like barrels, like empty barrels. Um, you would have had at the time a lot of like pirate-like people um, trying to smuggle in alcohol, like smuggling and smugglers. Um, so Marsden Grotto, the cave, was used as a cafe by Jack the Blaster, but um, that cave had a lot of, to do with the smugglers. Um, yeah, so there was a lot of deaths. It's a bit gang-like, really, but there was a, if you read into it, there's a lot of deaths, and uh, apparently pirates being killed and stored in barrels and a lot of other really lovely details. Um, you can buy the book. I think it's called The House That Jack Built. Um, so if you wanted to read into Jack the Blaster and Mars and Grotto, you can buy that book. I haven't read it yet, but I would love to. So it's next on my reading list. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stories. They've actually got a tankard. I don't know whether they still do it, but the story goes that they fill the tankard up for the ghosts at night time. Really lovely views. But the mill itself, obviously ignore the, ignore the kids. The mill, <laughs> if you look at it, there, the mill, no kids there, I promise. <laughs> the mill's really lovely. Um, the, suicide and all the ghost stories they do actually link up as well like uh, the the names of the family who lived there did live there when there was a storm and it sort of because it did have like a big windmill thing and the storm struck that down and i don't think it's been used properly as a mill since but it was um has been used throughout but um the storm struck that and the name of the family who lived there when the storm happened was the same as uh the person who committed suicide apparently so next time we'll come back <laughs> next time we'll come back and investigate i mean i do have my investigation stuff but i think um i don't think they'd be up for ghost hunting that i think they've got more of a dance vibe going on next time but yeah it's absolutely lovely views I'm not going to keep you on too long. I think I'm going to let you go. I've told you all I have to tell about here. Unfortunately, it is a short live and I, I will, we will come back. It was planned to be, it's, I, I should have thought about it really. I should have envisioned this. It is school leavers time. I really should have thought about it, but I just thought about the cool mill on the, the hill, not schools. It was expecting people. You always expect people to be there, just not um, that many. But don't, don't stop them now. They're having a good time. <laughs> right. I'm going to let you go. Have a lovely evening. And we will come back and investigate here later on. Um, not today, but um, probably during the week when there's not as many kids. Um, yeah, my grandma says definitely go back. We will. It looks lovely. And I bet you this has really spooky vibes. So I'm going to go let you go have a lovely evening sorry for a very short live but at least you've had a few stories there have a nice night guys bye